Hi guys, so what's going on? Well, you probably see what's in front of you. Uh, this is going to be for my Cincinnati Toolmaster milling machine. I've always wanted a DRO, but eh, you know I couldn't really justify the price. Then one day I was watching a video of a, oh, I, some guy from, I'm just going to say over the pond the other way. Uh, and he was really impressed with this setup and the price was right so I thought you know I'm gonna pull the I'm gonna pull the trigger and do it so anyway what we got here is a V a Vivor digital readout system uh, yeah there you can see the name Vivor but that's the display. Now this is a three axis glass scale kit. And you have, it comes with a collet rack and you know your arm for mounting it onto the mill. Uh, and also there's the, the bracket here that you mount to the mill, which I thought this thing was made quite well. Uh, you know, it's not plastic. I'm kind of wondering if it isn't 3D printed. I, I don't know. But there's two mounting holes, one there to mount to. And then, you see here, there's uh, uh, like some, I think these are M5, M5s. You can use, there's four of them, so you can adjust it. You know, so you can get all nice and level on there. The only thing I didn't like is, it comes with an M8 bolt to go through there, and it's pretty sloppy. And now this this is an M10, and uh, you know, hey, it goes right in there. It's, this one's a little short, so I'll have to get a longer one. So I'm going to upgrade that to an M10. Uh, yeah, three axis scale. Uh, you can see out there we got a lot of bags of hardware. Uh, here's all the hardware and stuff that comes with it. Hopefully it's all here. If it ain't, I'll make my own or something. Um, covers. Here's these. These are aluminum covers. Uh, and then the end caps. Well, hey, the end caps are end caps are plastic, but. Who cares? I ain't gonna be beating them with a hammer anyway. They should be fine. So I think I won't have to cut anything on this thing. It just measured out really nice. So here's here's some more brackets. You know, they're nice aluminum brackets for the uh, oh the X and the Y. I guess I'll figure that all out when I get going on it. Here's a couple more brackets. You know that you can. You know, adjust whichever way you got to go. I don't know. Find out when I get there. And uh, here's the scale. Oh, see. Now down inside here, you know, there's some nice plastic strips to keep um, stuff out of there. And there, you know, they're pretty well built. I mean, it's heavy. I mean, the guy wasn't, he wasn't, uh, he wasn't lying. He said he was very impressed with everything. And I have to say I am too, because this is all, that's all aluminum slots. And, uh, you know, nice, nice cable. And uh, plenty of length on it too. I only took this one out of the bag so far. I ain't going to take the rest out till I actually start mounting it onto the, mill so let's see if I can get this set up kind of so we can see a little bit here and I'll try to turn it on uh, probably work better if I had things set up better Let me get this can out of the profit at the line there. Okay. 
And that ain't going to work. I'll just have to hold it. Anyway, so there's a switch back here. We can turn him on. Let me get you in the scope. Ta da! It works. Let me see if I can get the camera repositioned so you can watch this a little bit better. Well, maybe I can hold it and you can watch. I'm going to move this scale. I moved it and it really moves nice. And it's, I mean, I barely move it. Huh, now it's not working. It was working. Well, it's because the, it's because the wire came out of the back of it. Ta-da! See these nice metal cables, like I said? Uh, I didn't screw it in. It's my own fault. Oops. There, I got it working. Now, let's see if I can do this. Look at those numbers moving. I'm just barely moving this thing, too. And it moves really smooth, really nice. You stop, it stops immediately. Let's go the other way. So anyway, that's what we got going. Uh, I guess if you want to keep watching this, I'll get stuff. I'll start getting stuff set up on the mill, you know, and uh, you can keep watching and keep. You know, I don't know how accurate it is, but it seems I'm I'm happy with the quality of the material. I was pretty happy with the price. Um, as far as the price, I gave 200 bucks for this. 200 bucks, 199.95, I think it was, whatever. Yeah. So I don't use my mill every day, and it's not used all day long. It's really kind of just a hobby mill. So for this price, I thought, you know, I'm just going to pull the trigger and and buy this and uh, hope for the best. And so far, I'd give it uh, two thumbs up. Thanks guys for watching. We'll see you later. Uh, please like, share, and comment if you want to. I've never hooked up a DRO yet, but we're going to figure her out. So, see you later.